A lot of devices have built-in streaming capabilities for your phone, tablet, thumb drive, or even PC. So at first glance, you wonder, why would you need a dedicated audio streaming device? Today, we're looking at the Airlink S10 wireless streaming preamplifier and see what makes a dedicated streaming audio hub so special and if it deserves your attention. Let's get into it. So Airlink sent me the S10 and at first glance, I was like, what can this do that my soundbar connected to my phone can't already do? And then I was pleasantly surprised. On the box, you can see this connects wirelessly to your network, has Spotify and other streaming services, supports AirPlay from Apple devices, and you can really pimp out your setup if you decide to get multiple units for your home, which is pretty exciting. On the back, you can see the features and specifications, LAN, USB, aux in and out, and power. Bluetooth 5.0, 30 meter Bluetooth range, which is almost about 100 feet, which means if you're streaming directly from your phone via Bluetooth, you're moving through the house with no worries. Better than most Bluetooth headsets if you know the struggle. Audio through 3.5 millimeter mini jack, pretty standard, and the music formats it supports. In the box, we have the user's manual, our Airlick S10. We can see the ports on the back. We have an RCA cable, 3.5 millimeter cable, USB cord with power adapter and a remote. The setup is straightforward. Connect the power to your device and plug the audio out to your speakers directly or an audio in of your choice. Me, I have mine connected to my mixer using the RCA cables and placed conveniently next to my setup. Now you're gonna to wanna to download the app. If not, you're pretty much limited to what you can do. Go to the App Store or Google Play Store and download the 4Stream app. Once installed, you can use the app to connect the Airlick S10 to your Wi-Fi network. If you prefer no Wi-Fi and rather go straight to LAN, you can. Once installed, this is where the S10 really starts to separate itself. The app is easy to use with some minor bugs here and there. Nothing drastic, just little things that pop up, but nothing really inconvenient. But you'll notice it as you're using it. Here's to hoping updates will fix that. Once in, you're greeted to all of your audio access in one convenient hub. You have TuneIn, Internet Radio, Pandora, iHeartRadio, Spotify, Tidal, Napster, Quobuzz, Deezer, Amazon Music, and an Add More Services button where you add or remove what you have or don't have. You also have a line-in option if you want to connect a audio device directly to your S10. And of course, you have your Bluetooth option to stream direct from your phone or tablet any audio from your device outside of the app. Now, there is a delay with Bluetooth and sync with video. All right, then. Here we go. First, with the light, you get a nice little carrying box. Nice little but if you're using an Apple device, you can use the AirPlay option, which the audio syncs up perfectly. You have a additional accents to my videos. The Airlink S10 offers multiple options for streaming music, such as from your PC, across your network and multiple rooms if you have multiple devices, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, AirPlay as we mentioned before, and you can load music on a USB stick and play directly from there and control it all conveniently from the remote that is provided. The remote gives you the ability to switch between inputs, volume next and previous track and EQ. Through the app, you can rename your devices, get important network info, EQ options, create station presets, and even a sleep timer. Manage multiple devices if you plan to add more, and then you have the option to go solo left channel or solo right channel, just in case you have one speaker or another reason I'm not aware of yet. And with a swipe, you can access your device list, what's playing, and streaming options. Pretty simple. Now, let's talk about some of the cons of the Airlink S10. When putting this review together, I came across some comments which said the Wi-Fi was unreliable and sporadic. While I can't speak for the other reviewers, I can say I have not come across any of those problems. When I downloaded the app, there was an update for it, so I'm not sure if those issues were addressed, but I haven't had any issues at all with the S10. Another note was the inconsistency of the volume between the different inputs. For example, going from streaming over Wi-Fi from the app to Bluetooth from another source. For some reason, the volume levels are different and the Bluetooth source is a tad quieter. The AirPlay stream is at the same audio levels as the Wi-Fi stream, so no concerns there. But this is one of those random things I was telling you about. Now another thing, once in a while the audio changes one click up or down for no reason at all. Just random. Nothing crazy, just something that makes you go, huh? So bottom line, the Airlick S10, is it for you? I would say yeah. 
I like how it integrates into my setup. Before I would have to have my phone hijack my soundbar, change input, make sure it's on, yada, yada, yada. But this on its own channel in my mixer, or maybe your own entertainment hub, I can leave it on at all times and just mute or unmute the audio. I actually use it every day, it just plays in the background. If you wanna see more info about the Ehrlich S10, I have links at the bottom below so you can check it out. Let me know what you think about the Ehrlich S10. Is it for you or not? And what questions do you have? Leave it in the comments down below and be sure to leave a like. Until next time guys, learn, do, and share. I'll catch you later.